When we take the book that is titled Torah, what do we find there? It's always about recognition of evil, of bad things, transgressions on top of transgressions. Why doesn't it write about good people who go from one good thing to another good thing? You know, you do something good, you're successful, then you do something else and you're successful as well. Like in heaven, you walk on a cloud from one cloud to another and you keep rising. But when we look at the story, it's horrendous. This is why King David loved the Torah. Although he attained perfection, even in perfection, you always have to look for what to add. Because if a person doesn't add, even in the world of Ensof, at the end of correction, it's death because life is revelation, revelation of evil. And the correction, so we have to get used to it, that without the revelation of evil, the revelation of the left line, we cannot attain the right line. And you have to start from the right line. So all the activities we are doing, and our conventions and so on, it provides us with the strength of the right line. It reinforces us. And because of that, we come to the revelation of the left line. Suddenly something happens with a friend or with the group in general. We start seeing bad things happening. But that is towards the next degree. So we have to be happy about it. Because we were awarded with recognizing the evil. And we're not like those called landlords, meaning that we cry about the, this. We understand that it's our nature becoming a parent and now we have to correct it and rise on top of it. So in short, we have to get used to always being in two opposite states. And everything bad that appears corresponds to the light, to the good, and always maintain these two edges, two reins.